Watch you guys got another video on USB flash drives every PC user needs. Now it doesn't really matter what USB flash drive you purchase, but really what you need to do is make sure you have these flash drives prepared, ready for your PC just in case something happens. And we're going to go through that in this video. And I'm going to show you which USB flash drives should have certain tools on them ready for any sort of problems that you may be having with your computer because guaranteed you're bound to have a crash or some sort like this where you'll get a blue screen of death and you may need to boot into Windows and of course if you don't have these USB flash drives uh, ready then you're not going to be able to boot into Windows and be able to rescue your data or even attempt to fix the problem that you may be having. Now these problems can happen at any time. Maybe you've done a system update on your computer or something like that, or maybe a Windows update and now it's got corrupted and you can't boot into your PC. Maybe you've got a virus on your computer, which is a very common problem, or maybe even malware on your computer. This method that I'm going to be showing you is super easy and it will resolve a lot of these issues. Maybe your system has been hacked and they've planted some sort of backdoor on your computer. Then you can still use this method to rescue your data. And I'm going to share how to do it. So first off, you're going to need a flash drive. You can pick up these SanDisk Ultra Flare flash drives. These are 64 gigabytes. They're only £7.93. I'll leave a link in the video description. Buy a bunch of these. They're always handy to have. And that way you don't have to keep overwriting the same drive. So this little tool here is useful for labeling your drive so you know exactly what's on there. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is Ventoy. You can either use this as well where you can have one USB flash drive, a very large flash drive, maybe 128 gig, and drop in all your favorite ISOs. That is another option you can do. But we're going to go down the singular option here where you're going to use multiple different USB flash drives with different ISOs on them so they're bootable and that way you can boot up. So the first one you're going to need is a Windows uh, bootable USB flash drive. You can go to Microsoft's website, the Media Creation Toolkit for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Why do you need this? Well, this is important if you need to reinstall Windows. Maybe you've only got one computer and if you have this to hand, it means you can get back up and running very quickly. To create this, all you need to do is download the Media Creation Toolkit and go through the motions here and select your USB flash drive, click next and basically create a Windows bootable media on that drive. Once that's done, you'll be able to boot to this and either reinstall Windows from here or use the toolkit that's built into it, which is going to allow you to do a bunch of uh, repairs to Windows or your existing Windows that you have that you might be having issues with. So many people don't have one of these lying around. And of course, you might only have one computer, which means if your computer is broken, you're not going to have the opportunity to create a bootable Windows 11 USB flash drive or even a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. You can either go through the motions here, boot to that USB flash drive and either install Windows or there's a little area down here that says repair your computer. So you can choose here whatever you want to do. So let's go ahead and click on the repair your computer. This will take you to this location where you can hit the troubleshoot area and this will allow you to do a startup repair, get access to your command prompt or uninstall an update. Maybe the update's gone wrong and you want to un uninstall it or maybe you want to recover from a recovery image that you have or use system restore or even uh, other things that you can do from here. So it's a very useful thing to have lying around and that way you don't have to worry. The next thing that you can do is create a recovery drive for Windows 11 or Windows 10. It's always a good idea to have a recovery drive. That way, if your PC is experiencing some major issues and you can't boot into Windows and you want to recover your system, you can use your recovery drive to reinstall Windows 11 or Windows 10. But remember, your personal files and any apps uh, that did not come with your PC will not be backed up and you will need a USB flash drive to create a recovery drive. Now you can also create an image or something like that of your system if you wanted to or make a backup uh, with another piece of software like Acronis to recover from. So it's a good idea to do that. To get a recovery uh, drive created, just search for recovery drive inside your search here and this will 
uh, allow you to locate the recovery drive tool that's built into Windows. Plug in your USB flash drive and just go through the actual prompts on the screen to create your uh, recovery drive and this will help you recover your system. So many people don't create uh, safety nets for their system and that way if their system fails you always have options available to you to recover your system whether it be a recovery drive, system restore and a bunch of other things you can do to try and make it easier to recover your system and get it back up and running as quick as possible. Another USB flash drive you should create is Hiren's Boot CD PE. This is a Windows pre-installed environment which is going to be useful because it comes packed with loads of tools that's going to allow you to check the health of your hard drive or scan for any sort of memory issues or maybe you want to back up your data or maybe you've got a, a boot issue or other things like data recovery and loads of other things like malware scanning. You can do a lot with Hiren's Boot CD PE. It's a really useful uh, USB flash drive to have and keep. Now this is really useful for people that only have one computer and if you've already got this created it's going to save you a major headache uh, if your PC suddenly breaks and you can't get into it. You can use this tool to reset passwords and all sorts of stuff and it's really useful. So get yourself a download of that and then also go and get Rufus. Once you get Rufus downloaded, I'm downloading the portable version here, plug in your USB flash drive and select the ISO that you've just downloaded from that website. You can see it right here. I'm going to select this, click OK here, and basically you can either set this for GPT if it's a newer system, or if you're on older legacy hardware, you can choose MBR. And you can see here the difference is UEFI, non-CSM, or MBR for BIOS and uh, CSM. So I'll leave this on MBR uh, for this video, but you can choose which one suits you. Once you've got that done, you can give it a volume label and also give it the NTFS and then click start. It's going to erase everything on that USB flash drive and click yes. And that will then go ahead and create a bootable USB flash drive with Hiram's boot CD PE on there. And we can then boot to this and do a bunch of different fixes. Let me just quickly boot up here and I'll give you a quick look of what it actually looks like. Now the good thing about uh, Hiram's Boot CD PE, which is basically a Windows pre-installed environment, you can use this to uh, fix Windows issues, backup data, data recovery, and loads of other things on here. I'm not gonna go through all of that sort of side of things, but I'm just gonna show you some of the tools that it has in here. You can have a look on their website, but like I've said before, if you're having an issue with your system and it's not booting, having this already pre-made, uh, it means you can just boot to it and then plug in your uh, external, say, USB drive and then basically copy all your data over to that drive if you wanted to. Or maybe uh, you want to try and fix Windows to, so you don't have to reinstall Windows. Maybe you've got a piece of malware on there that's stopping a PC from booting or something like that. Or maybe you just don't want to boot into the Windows operating system and run some scans from here. You can do. There's loads of things you can do with it. Let me just show you some of the tools here. They're all listed here and you just click on them. And when you shut the PC down again and remove the USB flash drive, uh, there'll be no traces of these programs left behind on the system because they're running inside this pre-installed environment, which is very useful. You can see we have a bunch of antivirus tools here, password reset tools, uh, data recovery tools, backup tools, loads of different tools you can use to uh, help you fix and resolve uh, Windows problems. Now, another useful USB flash drive to have is a USB flash drive with, say, Ubuntu on it. And this is quite useful if you want to boot into, say, Ubuntu from a USB flash drive. And maybe you want to do some banking online. You can do. There's going to be no malware running on here because you're in a pre-installed environment uh, because you're going to be doing the live environment version rather than installing it on the computer. Another thing you can do is basically test your internet. Maybe your internet is not working on Windows, so you boot into, say for instance, this Ubuntu, and you can then test to see if your internet is working there. If it is, then you know it's not a problem uh, with your network. It's a problem with, say for instance, a Windows-related issue. So to create your bootable uh, USB flash drive, all you need to do is download the ISO from their website, and you can see I'm just using the same USB flash drive here, for quickness and all you need to do is select the Ubuntu ISO here 
And once you've got this done, you should see it selected here. Once we've got this done, we can go for a persistent uh, partition size. We can make this one gigabyte if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and just drag this up and uh, so we can have just one gigabyte. So let me go ahead and do that right here. There we go, that will do. And we've got partition scheme MBR, and we also have BIOS or UEFI. We can set that there if we wanted to. And on the volume label, I'm gonna leave that as Ubuntu, and we can leave the file system as FAT32, and the cluster size can be uh, 16 uh, kilobytes if you wanted to, or change this to 32. It will still work. I'm going to leave this as default here, as recommended. And then once you're done, you can click on start, and this will then create our bootable USB flash drive with Ubuntu on it. And let me go ahead and say yes here. So we're going to allow it to go yes. And once we've done this, this will then go off and start to create our bootable flash drive. It's going to erase all the data on there, so click OK. And once this is done, you can give it a label of Ubuntu. And it's quite useful because you can also drag your files off. Maybe you want to boot up here and just drag and drop all your files off of the desktop onto a, another USB flash drive. You can do that with Ubuntu as well. There's many other things you can do with this as well. Now, if you're using the Ventoy method, you don't have to create loads of different bootable USB flash drives. You can buy yourself a larger USB flash drive, maybe a 128 gig one, and then basically drop all your ISOs onto there once Ventoy has been created on that drive which is very easy to do. But this way, you'll have loads of little USB flash drives with uh, your labeling on them so you'll know exactly what's on them. And that way, you can just basically keep them updated uh, with newer versions of Windows every so often. And you can boot to these uh, to create, uh, say, backups of your data and fix Windows problems. It's a really useful way of fixing Windows and having these ready just in case your system suddenly decides not to boot. And if you don't have another PC, you are going to be in big problems and you'll have to take it to a PC repair shop for them to fix, which costs money. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.